Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. We have this, hmm, symmetrical looking room. Surely there's something here. First off, I want to heal up my other team members real quick. And let's see what's here. Oh, hey, more purple mist smoke. They're not, not even phased. They're just like, oh, here's a, a force. Here it comes. Okay, it's a thing. What the hell are you? Some sort of big ol' scorpion bug thing. This is the Saucer Organism Grodine. Saucer Organism? Weird, but whatever. It's boss time! This dude also, not that hard. Uh, if you have a lucky card, feel free to use one. I don't have one. Um, yeah, you know how I said I was gonna get more? Um, at this point, I mean, I might not even bother, actually. Because, um, I will say, if a Ragu Ragula and Andromoa, Moa, um, they don't give any, any experience points, so you don't need a lucky card anyway. And we're already, our levels are so good anyhow that we don't really need them anymore for the most part. So I'm not gonna bother getting them. I mean, there's still, of course, there's still a few more bosses left to go, so they would be nice for that for a couple extra levels, but it's not a big deal. I'm not too, too concerned, so not gonna worry about it. This dude overall, as far as I can remember, isn't too tough. Um, Bubble Cluster, I believe, will, well, yeah, annoyingly status assist you, but whatever. Not too worried about that. Um, Cannon, want to have her just go for Eat or Claw Spam now. And Brad, go for one more normal attack. And they'll reach max FP soon anyway, and they'll get uh, Condition Green, so they'll be fine. But yeah, there's just a Left Claw already. Not sure why only his Left Claw is big like that, um, and not his right one. It's weird, but anyway, yeah, it's whatever. But yeah, at this point now, yeah, we're in access form. This battle's pretty much already over for the most part. Because <laughs> I'll just do, I'll spam uh, Gunblaze or Mad Seed and just go to town, pretty much. Won't even really bother healing because why bother? Um, Gat level four Eater Claw will be nice, and then boosted Railgun, just so I can keep keep taking taking advantage of um, a parameter and all that. So there's a good way to, good way to go there. Overall, yeah, this dude just nothing to write home about, really. Um, as far as weaknesses go, I'm not sure what he's weak to. To be honest, do I care? Not really. Not really at all. <laughs> So we're just gonna just kill him. And yeah, he's dead. <laughs> that took all by two minutes. That was a joke. Yay, we won. And yeah, the experience points in Gel are kinda paltry, actually. Oh hey, Ambrosia. I'm gonna need that for later, so thank you, Grodine. I will appreciate that. And yeah, that was kind of a stopgap boss battle of sorts. And I am going to go ahead and save here real quick, actually. I haven't done a hard save in a little while. Let me also heal up, too, if I, if I may. Just heal berries. That's, that, that's fine. That's why I bought them anyway, for the uh, minor healing like that. There's that. Organize. All right. And let's go ahead and save real quick. Yeah, my last hard save file was... Well, actually, it wasn't that long ago. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's not too, too long ago, anyhow. Well, actually, that was what... Maybe an hour-ish. I did use Fast Forward a lot before, so... Okay, let's head on further down the Spiral Tower. Um, did the layout change here a little bit? With the staircase? I think it might have, actually. I don't recall. But it's different at all. Not here, steps. Ooh. These are fun. Hold on. Okay, just neighbors. I wasn't sure. Okay, just wanted to clarify on that. Anyway, we have these uh, black walls here that will give us enemies to fight. Yay! So much fun. There's also a lot of these around, if I recall correctly. So, this will be fun to show off some of the uh, local wildlife. And also, I can show off me one-shotting all of them, because these guys are pansies. They were tougher earlier in the game when I fought them way earlier than you're supposed to, but now when you're supposed to fight them, they're kind of sucky. Anyway, yeah, just take down the uh, wall and it dissipates. Now some of these will want to keep up actually because they'll serve as the, um, you know, stepping stone like that and also um, teleport, well, not teleport pad, but um, uh, warp pad thing. Well, not warp pad either. Uh, Mr. Cloak spot, whatever, yeah, we'll go with that. 
That's what I was trying to get to, but you guys know what I mean anyway. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just look around here. Um, oh, should I have kept that one up? Not that I really could have anyway. Just can't really warp through these. Actually, I'll, you know what, what I can do is, um, if I recall, leave the room and come back. That first one should uh, respawn, actually. I think. That would make sense. Um, hey, hey, it did. Awesome. Well, we kind of have to anyway. So we can go over here and grab this chest, which contains an Ambrosia. Nice. Okay, let's press onward. Yeah, this is, we're already, well, actually, I kind of wish this part would keep track of what floor you're on. That'd be just kind of cool to know, but not a big deal. Just curious to know what floor we're actually on, or what basement floor we're on, technically. Um, ooh, we have more, we a combination here with the, um, puzzle switches here and the, uh, walls. Ah, okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. We'll want to lower all of these anyway, so I might as well just do that here first before anything else. And uh, we'll do the other one over here real quick. And it also give me a chance to scout out the room for any uh, potential trouble, which you know could very well happen, knowing me, like seriously. Um, I haven't seen any electrical symbols on any walls yet. Um, do I want to drop down there? I'll kind of have to. Watch, could I? Should I maybe cheat the system and warp like, right here across? There's no treasures in here, so actually that should, in theory, work. Oh, oh, hey, it did work. Awesome. I was, I was gonna say, like, I thought I was gonna be like one pixel short or something, but nope, that worked well enough for me. So, <laughs> moving on then. Um, we still have a pretty good ways to go, if I recall correctly. Um. Yeah, there's still more of these damn things around here everywhere, too. Um, I want to get up high there if I can. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Um, warp over here. And... Hmm, can't get up over here. Can't... Yeah, well, oh, more Ambrosia. I uh, will take that. Um, let me think. Oh, here, I, I see what to do. Uh, we need to warp across each, each of these with the Mr. Cloak. I see. You gotta be a little precise with your uh, warping here. Um, how do I get up there, though? Um, there must be some way up there. I'll figure it out. Family style. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go over here. Careful not to fall like I did. Yeah, as you can see, you can also um, go through all of these if you so chose, but at least some of them. I mean, if you wanted to with the experience points, but you kind of need them up so you can, you know, warp across them. Um, ever so carefully. There we go. And, um, go over... Oh, this one's a little devious. Um, because you don't want to hit the, uh, corner of the, uh, lantern pillar of light right there. We'll go with that. It makes more sense than lantern. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hit the corner of that and, uh, fall off there. So let's avoid that, shall we? And then we'll go up here. And I'll just use Puka to say... God damn it! <laughs> ah. I did not mean to do that. Just, just an FYI, that was accidental, not on purpose. <laughs> Luckily, oh my god. Can I just please not fall off of these? Just, just once. Okay, let's do that inch ever, ever farther up. There you go. And sneak on over. Oh my god. <sighs> it's so hard. You gotta just tap ever so lightly forward. And boom, you fall off into oblivion. It's, it's really annoying. Not a fun place either, by the way. Oh my god. Uh, come on. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. A little bit more. There you go. Okay. And ever so carefully. There we go. Alright, alright. Now. A little more to the left and up. There we go. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, now. Okay, another warp. There we go. Okay, now. Switch to Puka. Carefully over here for Mega Berry. Awesome. Now let's do one more final warp. I swear to God, if I fall. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's press onward. Again. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, hope you guys like spiral staircases, because 
You know, Spiral Tower has a lot of them, obviously. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Um, lots of these rooms around here. Um, I think actually these all pretty much lead the same way. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do these off camera, and I will be right back. If, I, if there's anything of note around here, I will show it off, but otherwise I'll meet you on the opposite side. So, BRB. Okay guys, we're back. Um, only thing of note, there was a chest on the far right path there with a Mega Berry. Um, that's all, so no big deal. And yeah, for all the enemies around here, um, for any intel you might need, physical attacks are your best friends. That's all you need to know, really. Because, I mean, we're powerful enough to just one-shot all the things, pretty much. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show a battle here with my, um, backup party, just because. Or yeah, my mage team, as it were, because, you know, all three mages. The Marvel is kind of... Yeah, she is a mage. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not sure why I thought otherwise. She's not as good as a mage as Tim or Loka, but she's also not as good as physical attacks with Cannon, Ashley, or Brad there, so she's Kind of a red mage minus of sorts, to put it that way. Um, oh yeah, I can't switch places. Well, anyway, these guys aren't too too bad anyway, even with my mage group here. I should be using my spells here. I'm not sure why I'm not, <laughs> because I'm silly. That's why. Thwack. That would probably hurt actually being hit with that staff, because that thing has a really hard blunt edge, I would imagine. Or blunt end to it, I should say. Oh, I know what I can do. Um, Loka, let's use dual cast. Um, I never showed it off really before. You can also make new spells with combining um, two individual spells with dual cast. For example, let's combine two sabers to make a Castic Rewriter. And that's the right pronunciation for that. It's probably not, but whatever. So pretty much double saber, as in double damage, which is pretty badass there. Takes all your FP, of course, it's, so you're better off just spamming normal sabers, but it's cool all the same, so there you go. Alright, so. Ooh, this room. Um, more of these rooms. Um. Okay. You guys know the drill, same as last time. Um, I'm gonna clear. Well, actually, so many. S hmm. Oh, you know what? There is. As you can kind of see, there's those pillars in the way, so it's kind of a maze of sorts. So I'm just going to just go ahead and kill all these doors again off camera, and I'll be right back once again. Hey guys, we're back once again. Just showing you the uh, quick path through here. Um, left path through here, cuts through this, this path, then through here, and through here. Pretty simple overall. I'm not quite done here yet also, because i got to do some more warping, because warping's always fun. Well, like, I guess it is kind of warping in a way. It's teleporting-ish from one spot to another. Wish I had a Mr. Cloak. That'd be awesome. Could use that for all sorts of shenanigans and whatnot. All right, uh, one more floor, and that might be all actually. Um, I'm trying to remember what else is past that, but it's been so long since I actually went through this part, so I don't remember. Ooh, just a long narrow room. Guess he got kind of lazy with <laughs> with that. They're like, yeah, this part's long enough. We put you through enough. Let's go ahead and just uh, cut you some slack. And, um, yeah, just give you a break there and move on. Which I am totally cool with, by the way. Because yeah, this part's, is, this part's, well, it's the last part of the game, pretty much, so it has to be long, of course. But, I mean, this part has everything you want for a last part of the game. It has cool bosses, its own unique music, um, really cool items and whatnot. Um, now... Um, there's stuff all around this room here as well. Um, one of these has an, an electal symbol, I believe, so again, I will pause and do these off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and we are back once again. Hope you all don't mind me not showing the battles here. Um, I'd rather the episodes be filled with actual progress and not be loaded down with battle after battle after battle after battle. Anyway, um, here's an electal symbol, finally. Um, so let's go ahead and bust out Marvel. Just, well, we need her for this one. Um, oh, gotta be like right on top of the thing. Electal, electal work. Oh, wait, I'm too low to the ground actually. I need to be like up here. No. Um, what? What am I doing wrong? It's right there. 
Um... Yeah, I'm on the electrical. Um... What gives? Oh, okay, I see. It's... Okay, never mind. <laughs> and that leads us to... A secret passage! You know, H.C. Bailey reference for the win. I make all sorts of references to him in my videos because he was my inspiration to start LP to begin with. So, props to him. Anyway, in this chest we get... The Rising Nova, Ashley's final arm in the game. This one I probably will want to upgrade, actually, if I feel like leaving the part again, but at this point, I probably won't do that, actually. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll show, I mean, I'll show how it is, like, in battle, but besides that, I really don't feel like doing out of my way to leave this part again, and then come back through here uh, again. Like, no. <laughs> I've done that enough, I want to like, beat this damn part sometime in the near, like, future, as in three weeks, so. Alright, and with that, we have reached the end of the Spiral Tower, and what the hell is that? We still have more things on our way. What are you? You appear to be a dragon. Here we have the terrible guardian monster Manufestu, who I will fight right now. It's not about doing a cliffhanger right here, but you know what? This guy, this guy will be a chump all the same, so I don't really care. Okay, Manufestu, and he has two knees to him. So I'm just trying to pretty much start going with my, um, with my, um, Gat abilities for cannon right off the bat to kill them faster. This dude, kind of like um, Grodine, not much of a problem. Really kill the knees first, go for the main part, and you're good to go. And I think I already killed a knee, and yes, I did. Oh my god, this guy's a joke. <laughs> this battle will be over in no time as well. And yeah, I think I'll go for some extra length today. Just, hey, double boss fights, we're beating this part, and then we're gonna see what lies beyond. Um, I'm okay with some more length to show off all of this cool stuff. Because yeah, we're getting near the end of the game. Um, the last part of the game is pretty crazy. Um, it's really, really cool. And at the very, very end, the final, final battle, we get to hear one of the greatest final boss themes in the history of gaming, in my opinion. That's just me. You guys will love it, though. I, I really hope you do, anyway. I sure as hell do. And I really hope you guys as well will as well. But yeah, if you need healing, um, I'll... You can bring in Tim or Lelka, or just have them in your party to begin with. I'm using these three just because. <laughs> but yeah, the three of these guys made this part so easy to go, th go through for the battles, because um, physical attacks from them will one-shot anything around here, pretty much. So that works for me. Also, yeah, Unmodified Spell does crap for damage, so yeah. Um, also, you saw there with the um, reflex from Ashley, it reflects some spells back at enemies, which is pretty cool shit there. I dig that. But pretty much, yeah, cannon, just go for our gat abilities there. There's the power boost in effect, by the way, and down to the manifest too. Oh yeah, lucky card if you have one, you can use it. That'd be cool and shit. Anyway, yeah, that takes care of that. And, ooh, two mega berries. Nice for knocking out the uh, knees there. Looks like someone's gonna need some knee replacement surgery. Alright, so, what lies beyond? Near Guardian, but we have all of them. Weird. Now, this right here will be serve as a teleporter to the final area of the game. That final area being, well, we'll find out here soon enough. Yeah, there's a spiral tower, so we're kind of going under, like, we're going further into the planet itself, pretty much. I mean, Ocean. Weird. Also, the uh, test is going by itself. Just so you guys know, I'm not advancing advancing it. No, I would. Well, if, if Tim says it's a guardian, then it's a guardian. This blue mud is one single guardian. How does that work? Is that hmm? So the guardian of mud. That's kind of lame for a guardian, but whatever. But yeah, if Tim says it's a, it's a guardian, I mean, listen to the Bastard Kid. He knows what's up. Uh, 
A blue sea of mud flowing deep under the bowels of the earth. Uh, he said bowels. <laughs> bowels. The origin of everything. The guardian of mud, Glaive the Gable, which is also the final part of the game. Okay, I'll take it. So this part is pretty mazy and, well, not quite as long as the Spiral Tower, um, but we'll see once we're inside. The Creeper build has been eating the Guardian, so pretty much been devouring Glaive the Gable itself, essentially. Now we can advance the dialogue there. So pretty much the Spiral Tower is the gateway of sorts to Glaive the Gable. Now we'll be able to leave Glaive the Gable, and I, if I recall, it'll take you all the way out of the dungeon out to the world map, I'm pretty sure. But you'll have to walk all the way back to the Spiral Tower to get back to Glaive the Gable. Which I will be doing, actually, because I'm going to get the ultimate armor, then I'm going to end up leaving the part for the optional bosses. So, there's that. We have to go ahead and heal up here. And um, I'm gonna be, just be quiet here. I'll wrap up things right now. And then we'll explore Glaive the Gable next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been I Heard Movie Sign Off. Guys, have a great day and thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll be a little quiet here so you can enjoy the music.